The Massachusetts condom market looks to be, well, in some trouble. Last month, I had said that we needed to pull the caution flag out of the drawer, but we can officially throw that caution flag for the condo market, that is. A couple questions. Do we go into condo depreciation or we actually see housing prices in the condo market year over year decrease? And if this happens, will the condo sickness spread to the single family market? Is this a short-term drop with a surge? Coming soon, this month's stats are a great look into what may be to come. If you're looking to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single-family homes, condos, as well as multifamilies, then you're in the right place. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a 1,000 houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then no, I'm here to help. Now, we've changed how the real estate industry operates. We now offer our services as a pay-as-you-go instead of the traditional pay 2.5% when you buy the house or sell it. It is modeled identically off the law industry. Home buyers can save thousands, possibly tens of thousands of dollars. Reach out if you're interested in hearing more. Let's start with the single family market. In May of 2024, we saw 3,293 single family homes sell for an average sales price of $841,000. Another month where we actually saw year over year sales up. That is now three months out of the five months where we have seen year-over-year sales level increase. The 3,293 single-family homes that sold in May was 1.4% more than last year when we saw 3,248 houses sell. Not a huge increase, but hey, beggars, they can't be choosers. But the takeaway from this continues to be that our sales levels in 2024 are about equal to what we saw in 2023. We have seen sales up by 1.4% for the first five months of 2024 as a cumulative five months, I'd say. But as we've said a million times before, the depressed sales really don't matter because as we know, home values are tied to the inventory levels, not sales levels. The May year-over-year increase of 7.5% was a great show. Yes, it was down from 10.8% year-over-year gain that we saw in April, but 7.5% is pretty darn good. Five months in the books, boy, where the heck have those five months gone? But five months down, we've seen home prices increase by 8.8%. The lower reading for June did push this number down as we'd seen home prices actually up by 9.4% when looking at just the first four months of 2024. Now, either way, these are some pretty strong gains that Massachusetts homeowners should be pretty happy about. Now, onto the yearly sales comparison levels. As we've already said, the 3,293 units is a strong number and is more than May of 2023. Before May of 2023, we'd actually have to go back to May of 2011 to see another year that didn't sell more than May of 2023 or 2024 when 3,085 single-family houses sold. Home sales, they're not great. There's no hiding that. But they also aren't our foot. Not to mention, home prices for single-family houses are up nearly 9%. So I think that's a pretty good win for home sellers, that is. We had been talking about a 30-month streak of sales level declines that came to an end back in February. So can we now talk about the streak of home sales increases? Eh. Well, we now officially have it two months in a row where we've actually seen the rate of sales in Massachusetts for single-family properties increase. I really don't see sales levels jumping higher unless interest rates were to fall by quite a bit in like the 5% range. Otherwise, I think these sales levels continue just to slug along. I don't see them going down any further, though. Meanwhile, there's a 47 consecutive month trend for price increases, and that's crazy. So with the four-year streak within striking distance, what should we be looking at? It's the question as to whether the sickness of the condo market is going to spread to the single-family market. Now, I'd say that the four-year streak, that's a lock, but we really need to keep our eyes on the future data to see if there's going to be a downward trend. But I continue to say that prices are going to continue to go up. For one simple fact, it's because of inflation. The rate of price increases may decrease, but they are going to continue to go up. It's that simple. Supply and demand as well. But as long as the government is printing trillions of dollars in home prices, they're going to continue to go up in the long term. Any cautionary tales for the single family market are tied to the inventory level. You are where you are, inventory levels, they're up 34.3% for May. I think this trend of increasing inventory continues. The question now is, how far will these inventory levels build, and when is that inventory building going to end? 
A week or so ago, I laid out a prediction that our inventory levels in Massachusetts would peak at 5,500 single-family houses. Now, we have the highest inventory levels in the last four years. It's still a great market to be a seller in, but there are some things that sellers should be cognizant of as we move forward. The trend of higher inventory levels continued in May, and I think they are going to continue as we head into the summer as well. We now have 773 more single-family houses on the market at the end of May of 2024 than we did back in the end of May of 2023, and 625 more houses than May of 2022. Buyers are taking it on the cheap, left and right, interest rates, prices, but this is an area of celebration. Quick recap. So sales of the single-family market were up by 1.4%, while inventory was up by 34.3%. And the number of new listings were up by 16.5% compared to last year's numbers. There were 5,999 single-family houses that were listed in May of 2024. Now, home prices continue to go up. And historically speaking, I'm going to put a sizable bet that next month will be the pricing peak for Massachusetts single-family houses in 2024. Something that is interesting that I picked up when looking at this graph is that we saw a pricing pullback in May of 2023 as well. And as I said earlier... Home prices in Massachusetts threw up 8.8% for the first five months of 2024. We have the condo market as well as the multifamily market up next. But first, if you could just do me a huge favor, is it just helps play with that YouTube algorithm. If you hit that like button right down there, it just makes a huge difference to me as well as my channel. And if you haven't subscribed and you're liking the content, I appreciate you considering subscribing. For the month of May, we saw 1,581 condos close in Massachusetts for an average sales price of $702,000. So let's start with the sales data. Sales levels were down by 4.6% year-over-year. The 1,581 condos sold in Massachusetts for the month of May was compared to the 1,657 units that sold in May of 2023. The year-over-year sales level decline ticked down a bit to 3.6% as there have been 5,955 condos sold in Massachusetts were just compared to the 6,178 in the same time period of 2023. This is down slightly as it is compared to the 3.7% that we actually reported back in April. Now, here you can see the year-over-year sales declines or increases. And at this point for 2024, it's been every other month with one month down and then the next month up. I think this is what we're going to continue to see. And what our normal is now, nothing concerning. Now, this graph shows you that the sales levels were down, but it really wasn't awful. We are higher than the huge COVID downtick, but are significantly higher than the May of 2011 levels, but far short of the May 2012 levels. Now, the 1,581 units, it's not a bad number, but it's important to note that this is by far the weakest market segment in all of Massachusetts. Like the single-family market, we've seen some big inventory-level upticks in the condo market as well. The 2,788 condos on the market in Massachusetts is 20.7% higher than the inventory levels back in May of 2023. This is some phenomenal news if you're a home buyer. Whether you're in the condo market or the single family market, we are closing in on the levels that we saw back in 2020 in the condo market. Great news. And it's a story on these inventory levels, which makes the levels that we are seeing in prices and the rate of them increasing make sense. Now, the takeaway continues to be in the condo market that the inventory levels are starting to normalize. Figure this. The average number of units on the market in the last 10 years was 3,205 units in May. Last month, we crossed the 2020 inventory barrier. And this month, we pretty much played peekaboo with the inventory levels that we saw then, back and forth over that line. As May closed out, we had 398 more condos on the market compared to this time in 2023, 403 more than compared to 2022, and 79 more than in 2021. As a year-over-year comparison, sales were down 4.6%, but the amount of new listings were up. In May, we had 2,553 new listings that hit the market. This is compared to the 2,428 that hit the market in May of 2023. This means that the amount of new listings were up by 5.1% year over year. Yes, home prices were up in May, but the trend line is what is a little concerning. The average sales price of $702,000 was 0.28% higher than the average sales price in May of 2023 when it was $700,000. This is where you really see the effects of additional inventory. Keep in mind, that a 3% appreciation rate is what we consider a normalized rate and with the rate that our economic betters, if you will, that's the rate they shoot for. And here's a good longer term look for year over year sales price increases and decreases. You can really see the disaster that the COVID shutdowns were to the condo market. Now, pictures were the million words, right? Well, this picture really shows you a good visualization of that downward trend line I was talking about. 
Does the downward trend line continue for the month of June? When we go into a year-over-year -year price decrease scenario, or do we see a year-over-year -year bounce back next month? Keep in mind that we actually saw a decline in year-over-year -year prices back in June of 2023. So will history repeat itself? Year-to-date, condo prices in Massachusetts were up by 4%. We reported this number is 5.4% in April, so they pulled back when we factored in May data. And now for my very quick shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a house, then reach out to me as it would be a true pleasure to help you and guide you through this process. Now, onto the multifamily market. Last month was a phenomenal month in the multifamily market. This month was a fantastic month. In May of 2024, we saw 454 multifamily properties sell for an average sales price of $810,000. The size of the year-over-year -year increases has actually narrowed, but sales, they were still up. The 454 units sold, let's say, 6.8% increase in the year-over-year -year sales levels for May. This means that year-over-year -year sales levels are now up 6.3% for the entire year. The 459 sales puts us above the sales levels of May of 2023 and 2020 and is exactly the amount we saw in May of 2015. Are the sales levels knock it out of the park type levels? Nah, but they're strong. Let's take a look at the inventory level. There are currently 761 multifamily properties on the market. Inventory levels at the end of May of 2024 versus May of 2023 were up by 20%. I think it's safe to say that we are officially out of the 2023 inventory ban. In other words, I feel that I can officially say that inventory is higher for the multifamily property market in Massachusetts for 2024. And for the record, they are still really low. Second lowest in history to be exact, we listed a lot more multifamily properties though than we did back in 2023. We listed 785 multifamily properties in May of 2024. This compared to 672 in May of 2023. In other words, there were 16.8% more new multifamily properties that came on the market this year than over the last year. When you compare our inventory levels today to those of May of 2015, then today there are 2.7 times fewer multifamily properties on the market. Make no bones about it. It was a great month. It just doesn't look as good due to the crazy month that we saw in April. Prices were up year over year by 12.5% in May for the multifamily market. Now, the May appreciation levels are right in line with three out of four of the months prior. I guess a better way to say it is that the year over year appreciation rate in May was, well, normal for 2024. Multifamily properties pricing is now up by 14.1%. These are continued strong gains for multifamily property owners in Massachusetts, and they kind of deserve it because they took it in the teeth last year. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell in the next nine or 90 days, it doesn't matter. I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you passing along my contact information. You can visit youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Let me know if you have any questions about the market data, but until next time.